Hello friends, today let's solve word break 2 problem. Given a string s and a dictionary of strings word dict, add spaces in s to construct a sentence where each word is a valid dictionary word, return all such possible sentences in any order. This problem is different from 139 because that problem only asks us whether it can be uh, divided into several words that in word di dictionary. Uh, this question asks us to construct all such valid sentences. Uh, I'd like to remind you that we don't necessarily, uh, it is unnecessary to return the minimum uh, length of sentences. Uh, you may mix up this question to word letters too. Word letters too ask us to return the shortest transformation, um, but this question don't ask about a minimum length. So for example, uh, in this example, we split into four words in the word dictionary. In this example, we only uh, oh, we split to three words in word dictionary. So ending is uh, ending sentence is correct. Only uh, we only need to split into words that exist in word dictionary. So how do you solve this problem? Uh, well, let's think about it. For example, if this is the input S and the word dictionary, uh, these two are possible sentences. Uh, because cats is in word dict and uh, then and 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 uh, dog and the cat cat in and the sets also in and dog also in. Uh, so what should we do at this time point? Um, we need a we need a pointer or index, we should iterate all the uh, characters in the string, right? So when we have a begin index, let's say start from zero, then the current chart is C, we also need an end index so that we get a substring. For example, if the current end index is in two, so we have a substring, right? S substring zero, actually three because uh, the end index is exclusive. So we have cat. Then we check cat, whether cat is exist in what dictionary? Yes, if it exists, uh, we may want to append this cat in some result string or something. Then we use the same function to handle the rest of this string because we uh, essentially do the same thing. Uh, when we get a cat, then we can uh, let the begin index in uh, at this uh, S and then we iterate uh, the end index, check whether S is in word dictionary and SA in the dictionary or SAN is in dictionary, so on and so forth. So this problem is just a, uh, 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 I mean, standard backtracking problem. So let's, uh, this is what I draw. Uh, it's just so we use the index and we check uh, uh, C, CA, CAT, and we find CAT in the dictionary. Then we handle the rest part. So S, S, A, S, A, N, S, A, N, D in the dictionary. Then we add it. And then we find a dog is also in. So what next is, this is not the only uh, sentence. So then we should uh, backtrack. Uh, by main backtrack, we need to dump this dog and we dump S A N D uh, set, then we dump C A T. So uh, at uh, for the previous solution, our ending index is in T. So now we can move it forward. Then we have C A T S. That's a possible a word in the word dictionary. So we append this C A T S in the maybe result string or something else. And then we handle the rest just like the previous uh, iteration. So this is just a backtrack. We add the new new word to the string and we uh, call this function. We name it the DFS. And then when we get a possible result, we just remove that word and uh, try every possibility. Uh, just uh, some um, hands up. 
First is a pruning. Uh, what do I mean by some simple prune? Pruning. Uh, that's if there is some character in S that that it does not exist in word dictionary. We know we cannot get a result, so we just return an empty list. So that's one thing we should check. Um, yeah, I think that that's it. Okay, let's write the code. We need the result, new array list. Okay, then we check whether it exists in the word dictionary. So we need a count uh, uh, array. We, uh, we, we only have 26 because uh, I think it said only lowercase. So what we should do is iterate every word in word dicta and iterate every char in uh, word to char array. Then we let count C uh, do not forget to minus a because this is just offset. Uh, ASCII code, I think it's 96 or something else. So we get the offset. So then we check uh, every uh, char, uh, yeah, char in uh, S2 char array. Then uh, we check if count C minus a equal to zero, then we don't find it. So we return result. Okay, then another thing is that the given uh, data type of word dictionary is a list, but we all know if we want to check whether a string exists in some uh, connection, what is the faster uh, way? That is use a hash set. So we just uh, call it uh, word set. Okay, here we should initialize word set uh, new a hash set, we parse this word dict. Okay, then we do the DFS and then we return result. Okay, let's see what we should uh, use in this uh, DFS. Well, first thing first, we need uh, this string and we also need the index. Another thing I said, uh, we, we must uh, maintain some result uh, string. Uh, we call it uh, substring curve. Okay, so what is the best case about any mm, backtracking uh, problem? We should uh, think about it. So the best case is if index in t uh, it's reached the end. So we write the s equal to s length. Okay, if index equal to n, then we add the current uh, substring to result. So cur to string, right? And uh, we return. Okay, then we need to uh, iterate the ending index i equal to index um, i less than an i plus plus. Uh, we check if the word set cont oh, sorry, contains uh, this s substring, substring uh, that will be index i plus one. Because never forget the uh, ending index of the substring is exclusive, so we should uh, incre uh, increment by one if it exists. Uh, remember, we need to backtrack, so we must know the index, current index. Uh, we, we call it uh, before adding. We, we save the current uh, length. Uh, why? Because uh, when we uh, backtrack, we should uh, remove cur, uh, delete this substring. So the begin index is this before ending. The ending index is uh, that time length. So we remove this. Basically, we remove the substring from the curve. OK. Uh, here, we, we also have two cases. One is if it is the first, uh, first, if it is the first uh, word, then we don't need to add the space. Otherwise, we need to add a space. So if it is equal to zero, then we know curve should just append uh, this substring. Okay, we just append this substring. Uh, if not, we should occur append uh, the space, right? Space and occur append. Uh, well, okay. Uh, then we do the DFS string index i plus one. 
right? Do not mix up the index and the i and the curve. And uh, we uh, backtrack, okay? So that will be s index zero, new string builder. Okay. Okay, I think uh, that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.